Pure water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom that are closely fused together. However, to separate them into the two gases that they normally are, we're going to have to use a process called electrolysis. Electrolysis is basically just using electricity to make a chemical reaction that doesn't normally happen. However, pure water, which is a kind of liquid called a solvent, doesn't actually allow electricity to flow through it. So to make the electricity flow through it, we're going to have to use a chemical called an electrolyte. The electrolyte that we're going to use is kitchen baking soda. However, you can also use salt, but you'll end up with a slightly different reaction. The power supply that we're going to use is this 9 volt battery. However, you can use whatever kind of battery you like, as long as it's more than 1.5 volts. To carry the electricity through the water, we're going to use two wires that are about 15 centimeters long with an alligator clip on the end. Connected to these wires is going to be two nails, which are going to be our electrodes. And to capture the two gases, we're going to use two test tubes. However, you can use anything similar to that. First of all, mix one teaspoon of baking soda into a container of water that's longer than the test tubes are high. Then wrap one of the wires from one of the alligator clips around a nail and secure it with duct tape or solder. Then insert the nail inside a test tube and secure it firmly with duct tape. Do that for the other one as well. Then submerge the test tubes into the water like this. Tip them up and then invert them to get rid of any air bubbles and create a perfect vacuum. Then put them on a slight angle in one of the corners and secure them with duct tape. We're now ready to test. Now all we have to do is connect the positive wire to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative wire to the negative terminal of the battery and it will start working. We can already see hydrogen and oxygen bubbles flowing off their electrodes to the surface. These gases are being collected in these test tubes. The test tube on the left contains hydrogen gas, and after just a few minutes, we've already collected quite a lot. It's now quite a long time later, and a um, big space here that we can see is all hydrogen, so hopefully we'll end up with quite a big explosion. So we're now about to explode it, but before I do that, um, it's important to be careful and to use some safety glasses. So I've got a barbecue lighter here. First of all, I'm going to untape the hydrogen uh, test tube here. I will lift it, I will light the uh, barbecue lighter and then tip it up like this and we will see a huge explosion. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe.